So we've got Woodworking in America coming up, and one of our featured speakers this year is Christopher Schwarz of Lost Art Press and a contributing editor of Popular Woodworking. This year he's talking about, among other things, some Roman workbenches he's going to be building over the next couple months. So can you tell us a little bit about these and why you have decided to investigate this style after so many years with English and French workbenches? The French and English workbenches have been a style that has been popular since probably the 16th or 17th century. But before that, you know, there's a couple thousand years of woodworking history before, it makes you wonder, well, what do those people work on and produce very nice furniture? And I'm always looking for uh, ways of working that are make your life and my life easier and simpler. I mean, I, one of the reasons I started building French workbenches was so that I didn't have to build a really fancy Tafrid or Frank Klaus workbench, with, which can take many, many hundreds of hours to build right. And so maybe it's just out of complete laziness that I keep looking backwards. Um, Roman workbenches, uh, the earliest one I've seen is from Pompeii. And uh, here we have uh, a Pompeii workbench here. And, uh, and so it's, it, they're low workbenches and uh, usually about knee high to about mid thigh. And they're made kind of like a staked piece of furniture. They're just sticks that are driven into mortises in the, in the top. And the work holding is, is very simple. Uh, in this one, he's using, I think he's Greek, the way he's dressed, someone told me. Uh, he's using nails to hold, uh, uh, like what looks like a chair rail for mortising. And, uh, but there have been other clues is that there is some other work holding involved. And uh, so this is from Herculaneum. This is uh, a Roman workbench. And this is actually an 18th century drawing of a fresco from Herculaneum, which is which near Pompeii. And uh, here uh, they have uh, a holdfast. And so this is one of the earliest holdfasts. And I have Peter Ross make me a holdfast that I'll show you here in a moment that, that is like this, totally unlike our modern holdfasts. And then also a bunch of Roman sites like Salberg uh, in, in Germany, which was a Roman fort, has all these uh, Roman planing stops. So we have the archaeological evidence for how they did work only. But the thing that really made me want to build these Roman workbenches was actually editing the book Woodworking in Estonia, because uh, the workbenches in that you know, small Baltic uh, country were still Roman uh, up through the 1950s and 1960s. And so Hans Verus, the, the Estonian uh, ethnographer who um, uh, you know, wrote this book, spent his whole life wrote the book, writing the book, photographed some really incredible work holding situations that I think will make uh, people think they might not need all those fancy vices for everything. So that's where I got the, uh, the idea for this real basic and, and, and simple Roman workbench that I showed you from, from the uh, Hey, but what's really cool for me is that transition point between Roman and modern. When did that occur? I don't know why it occurred. I mean, I'm sure people just got fancy, so what do we do it? Um, but when did that occur, and what did that look like? And the, the, the traditional bench that I'm going to build, that's also going to be working in America, is by uh, from a guy named Martin Lofenholz. I, I'm sure I'm butchering his name. Um, he was uh, in uh, Nuremberg in the er, real early 16th century. So this is a portrait of him, love the hat, uh, from 1508. And he left us a codex. And codex is like an early book, uh, usually, you know, uh, handwritten, hand illustrated, usually uh, recipes or just things that this person, kind of like a, a diary, I guess would be an easy way to put it. So he left us this codex, which is fascinating. And nobody has really seen this uh, all in its entirety before, but it's held by a Polish university. And I've gotten a copy of it. And in it um, is this Roman workbench, which is still completely Roman in form and then it's staked. But here we have a wagon vise, uh, we have a system of dogs, we have a twin screw vise, all in this, this Roman form. And then local holes uh, also you know, even drew us how uh, the wagon vice works, which is really cool. And so Peter Ross is making this hardware for me. And on Lake Erie, I think they're going to be at Woodworking America 
to uh, Nick is making the, the screws for it. And, uh, and then this is the second workbench that uh, Waffle Holes um, uh, drew for us, or, some, or perhaps his blacksmith drew for us. There's a lot of uh, controversy about the codex. Uh, we actually had it transliterated and then translated, which is something I've been working on most of this year, and, uh, and also some papers about it. And uh, we don't know exactly if Waffle Holes actually drew this or it's a, it's a pretty interesting uh, story that I'll be telling you we're working in America. Uh, these benches will be complete. Uh, they'll be there, and they'll be there for you to use. Um, you can come up and give them all a try, uh, even if you don't get to go to uh, the, my, my a couple of speeches about it. I'll have them out in the hallway for you. So I hope you come, and I hope you uh, will come and uh, take a look at the Roman work benches and uh, you know, come enjoy what working in America. It's one of the... Uh, most fun things about woodworking uh, in a group.